Mom told me you saw Dr. Phil about vaccinations, that you heard all about the controversy going on right now. Before I get into why all that isn't true, let me explain what a vaccine is, what it does, and what it does. So a vaccine is pretty much like a vaccine that you take, or a medicine that you take before you get sick. I know that sounds pretty dumb, but they actually prevent you from getting these diseases. So what's it made of, and what does it do, and how does it work? Diseases are normally caused by germs, right? Well, germs are actually different bacteria or viruses that cause a disease. So a scientist takes a bacteria or a virus, which is, these are kind of representations of what they look like. This is a virus, and this is a bacteria. So how you make a vaccine is you take something, say like a polio, vac polio, polio virus. You'll take that virus and then you'll weaken it or kill it completely. So you can weaken it using heat or chemicals and you'll kill it. To, and then you put it in a vaccine. And then when we get our vaccine, our immune system recognizes that there's something foreign in our body and it'll try to build a defense to fight it. And normally what this... What the defense is when we get a vaccine is that our immune system makes antibodies for these particular diseases. So what's an antibody? An antibody looks like this. And it's kind of like a it neutralizes and it kills the bad germs in our body. So I know everybody's talking about vaccines right now and are they safe? Do they do bad things to you? This and that. So they are safe. They're actually good for you. Do you remember smallpox? Right, you've heard of it, right? Well, because of the vaccines, the World Health Organization actually, actually reported in 1979 that smallpox no longer is a problem in the world. It's been eradicated. But you probably read about that in the news, right? And remember the disease that FDR had, polio? Because of vaccines, again, it's almost all but eliminated in the entire world. But vaccines do sometimes have side effects. Remember when you got your tetanus shot, your arm was kind of sore for about a week? Well, that happens quite often when you get a vaccine. Your arm will get kind of sore, it'll be red or swollen, and sometimes you might even get a fever. But also, like, sometimes you might get more serious uh, side effects like convulsions or brain swelling. But these are extremely rare and almost never have other consequences like they almost other effects almost never follow so like anaphylaxis is when your throat closes up you know if you have an allergic reaction you can't breathe anymore so that's called anaphylaxis and sometimes when you get a vaccine vaccination you'll get anaphylaxis and that happens in one to two cases in a million doses so I know that they mentioned that they put aluminum in vaccines. And I know it sounds pretty crazy and I bet you're pretty, bet pretty worried, but don't fret. It's not as insane as it sounds. Aluminum in vaccines actually is called an adjuvant. So what is an adjuvant? It's actually kind of like a vitamin for vaccines. We don't know exactly what it does in the body, like exactly the process it takes in the body, but we do know that it makes vaccines work better. It makes the effective vaccines even better. So remember how I explained what vaccines are and how they work better earlier? So um, that they use antigens. So a scientist, what scientists do is they take <coughs> alumina and combine it to this antigen. Remember I said the antigen was like a killed or weakened virus. So they combine the aluminum with the antigen. This aluminum adjuvant, which is what this is called, makes our immune system produce even more antibodies. So why, why is that a big deal? Um, it's a good thing because now we have to put a, only a little bit of the dead germs in our body for us to get this many antibodies to work against it. So that way we, we're not putting too much of the disease inside of us. So you should tell you and, and your bingo buddies about adjuvants because they're really important for the elderly. Vaccines don't always have a strong effect on the elderly, so we need a lot more antigens, or we need a lot more antibodies 
to, for the vaccine to work. So this extra boost of adjuvant makes vaccines more potent for grandmas and grandpas everywhere. So in the future, what researchers are working on is making these adjuvants a way, like customizable. They're trying to make the immune system, they're trying to customize what immune response the adjuvants cause. It's kind of like adding food coloring to icing. You know when you send me really good cakes, you always send different colored icings. So you start with the base. You start with the white food coloring. And then to customize it and make different colors, you add different kinds of dyes. So that's kind of what the researchers are doing to um, make the adjuvant more customizable for the immune responses, like you making different colored icing. So I hope I answered all your questions, Grandma, and call me if you have any more. I can also help out all your friends, and don't freak out about vaccines because they're actually safe. Bye.